um, I'm April Williamson. I'm going to share a little bit of information about how I use blended instruction in my Algebra 1 classroom in Washington, D.C. So in terms of the structures that I use for blended instruction, um, I use a mix of um, in-person instruction and video instruction. So in a typical class day, which is 90 minutes, um, I'll do some kind of ch daily check-in as I take attendance. So it'll be a fun question that I ask students to respond to. Um, and that's just to build community in our classroom. And then we'll do some kind of whole group warm-up activity. I don't grade these, but I do incentivize these with hustle points, which is our classroom incentive system. So these could be um, review or logic games that students work together on, um, or sometimes they're competing against each other working independently. It could be a class discussion of a challenge problem, um, like an SAT problem or um, a difficult puzzle. Um, I also like to use the websites math equals love or open middle to get open ended puzzles that students can work on together. Um, I might do a number talk, which is a discourse strategy um, where students are presented with open ended prompts that they can all um, answer and they build off each other's um, responses. Or I might sometimes use some online learning platforms where students might practice foundational skills on IXL or um, do a personalized learning um, activities on Imagine Math. So it just kind of depends on the day, but I usually rotate between those types of opening activities. And then we'll do quick um, five minutes or less of announcements. We check in on students' pacing and I give instructions for the day. After that, we typically um, jump into self-paced work um, on our learning management system, which is Canvas. And students will be working through lessons on Canvas. So every lesson starts with a video, then they do a practice assignment, then they do a mastery check, and then there's an optional um, extension like Aspire to do task. And while students are working, I am circulating the room. I might pull a small group um, and do a reteach or give some support on a lesson that multiple students are struggling with. Um, I will provide students with feedback on work that they've submitted. Um, I might check in with students about how they're doing, um, talk to them about their pacing, if they were absent, um, talk to them about what they need to do to catch up. Um, so it's just a time for me to work with um, the students kind of more um, on an individual basis or in small groups to give them kind of deeper attention. And then at the end of class with about five minutes left, we'll come back together and do hustle points. So I nominate students to earn hustle points and they nominate um, each other for hustle points based on our hustle values, which are honor, unity, self-advocacy, tenacity, leadership, and empathy. Um, so um, as I mentioned earlier on Canvas, each lesson has a consistent progression. Um, with the 40 to 45 minute uh, self-paced work blocks, each lesson on Canvas typically takes students about one to two days, but it really depends on the student. Also, some of the lessons are quicker if they are reviewing old content and some are more um, intensive. So here's what it looks like on the Canvas side. Um, students work through the lesson. They have to score four out of five on their instructional video with the pop-up questions. They move to the practice. They have to score eight out of 10. They move to the mastery check where they have to score at least 16 out of 20. Um, and if they do that, they can choose to do the extension if they want to, or they just move on to the next lesson. Um, so in terms of the videos, the first um, step is to create guided notes aligned to the learning tar target or objective. So those guided notes templates are very consistent. Um, so every time we'll have the name of the lesson, the objective, we'll have um, new vocabulary words, we'll have key concepts, we'll have some real world connections, and then we will um, go through sample problems. And at the end of the guided notes template is a summary section where students reflect on what they learned and they'll fill that out themselves. So once the guided notes templates are created, then I go on Explain Everything, the app on my iPad, and I record myself um, going through the guided notes and kind of explaining the guided notes. Um, with the guided notes um, style that we do, 
Um, generally, our videos are between about six to 10 minutes. We try not to go over 10 minutes because we know that um, our students, um, their interest starts to wane after that amount of time. Um, we do use subtitles for accessibility. Um, so if I record my video on Explain Everything, I'll upload it to YouTube, um, which has uh, subtitling ability, and then I'll import the video from YouTube into PlayPosit, which is the, um, the platform that I use to actually embed these pop-up questions. Um, I like PlayPosit because um, I can set it so that students can redo the video and I don't have to reassign it to them every time. So if they get less than four out of five, they can just go ahead and restart the video. Um, so in terms of engaging my students, um, we do uh, create the videos ourselves for every lesson. So it is um, either me or another team member um, who works at our school. We um, collaboratively plan our modern classrooms lessons, so students will always be hearing from me or another teacher that they know on the algebra team. We do embed those check for understanding questions, and they're always auto graded, so they give students um, quick feedback on what the students are getting right or wrong. Um, I always keep uh, writing or drawing throughout the video as I record, so it's not ever a static image on the screen. And we have the routine with our guided notes, so students always know what to expect. Um, and they do have that option to reflect on their learning at the end of every lesson. So here's just an example of what our guided notes packets look like in this unit. Um, on polynomials, there were eight lessons that students would complete, and for each um, each lesson, um, the notes included those same sections that I mentioned earlier. Um, I do collect the packets and give a small completion grade for them. I've just found with my ninth grade students, it helps um, to kind of hold them accountable for completing the notes. So on quiz or assessment day, I will collect the packets. So that's it for me on blended instruction in my classroom.